Hello and welcome to week 14 of the Let Be trial. Now, this is a summary of what's been happening in court. Remember, Let Be is on trial for the murders and attempted murders of um, very young children, babies um, that she was in charge of as a neonatal nurse. OK, so week 14, we're still looking at Child Eye. It's the prosecution's case. And um, medical experts talked about the enlarged, stom enlarged stomach that child I had and the fact that um, it must, the only explanation was that it was due to deliberately um, being injected with air. However, on cross-examination, they said they this could not be proven, which is an interesting point. Um, the stomach was massive. That was their, their words, and they said it would have contained more than 20 millilitres of air. Now, the defence really picked up on the fact that the doctor could not state the precise cause of this. So, yes, lots of air in the stomach, but they could not definitively say it was due to deliberate in injections. Another doctor talked about the mottling on the skin, meaning circulation of eye was not as good as um, it should have been. They also picked up on the fact that Let Be sent a card to the parents of Child Eye after Child Eye died, saying how sorry she was and how sad it was. Um, and she was sorry that she couldn't attend the funeral. It's quite common um, for a representative of a hospital to attend the funeral of, of a child. They also talked about the WhatsApp messages. Let B had asked another colleague whether she could keep looking after child I, but the colleague had said that I had been reallocated to a different nurse. Now, a nurse gave another nurse, remember they, they are not being named, so another nurse gave evidence in court, um, talked about how child I was stable, but then um, collapsed and there was very, very loud crying. Um, she found Let Be trying to give a dummy to Child Eye, but Child Eye was not, not taking it. Um, the nurse had said um, that the parents were unhappy after Child Eye died with a post-mortem. This was in a text to Let Be that a colleague said that the parents were unhappy, but Let Be replied, um, and quote, it's of benefit to know, meaning yeah, it's of benefit to know how the child um, the child died. And I thought that was quite a strong bit of evidence there because Letby is saying, yeah, we need we need to know. Um, Letby had had some time off absent. It didn't really talk about the cause of this. So whether this was illness, physical or or mental, not much was um was spoken about. And the defence, again, in cross-examination, picked up on the fact that um, the medical staff had said they'd never heard a baby scream as loudly as child I and in such distress. Um, and they said, well, the defence picked up on this and said, well, child I, could this have happened if they were very hungry? And the medical staff agreed that yes, yes, it could. So quite a lot of evidence this week. Um, and we are continuing. We are now going into week 15. So we will see what happens with that.